like rearranging furniture in your living room when you rearrange something it feels like it's brand new so if you do that with your christmas decor that you already have it can be really helpful for saving money this year i am going to paint this as well to give it a fresh more modern look that fits my style in my house i totally forgot i bought this last year this is why i love doing this because i might have bought another picture this one was five dollars i think this year i'm gonna do some gold rub and buff on this ornament top and this will have a brand new look hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is kayla and if you guys can see by my tubs here today we are talking christmas again you guys are loving the christmas content and i want to bring you more However, what I don't want to do every time is show you everything that you need to purchase and consume. I'm going through my old tubs and I'm going to talk about the decor that I am going to repurpose and reuse this year in 2024. I have stuff from my childhood, from my mom that was passed down. So I'm gonna go through everything. My husband and I are having a huge garage sale in October. And so I'm going to sell some stuff, donate some stuff, give some stuff away. And so we're going through the tubs today and then this is going to help me when I go shopping to know what exactly I have and what I don't need to buy. If you guys watched my Hobby Lobby decor haul, you guys know I am big into the garlands and greenery. One of the things that really makes a difference in a space is just changing out stems in vases. If you guys have vases that you use year round, switch out the stems for that. So I purchased last year from Target. I think each of these stems were really cheap, like under three bucks, um, or they may have come in like a group, but so these are just flocked stems. They have little pine cones on them and I just stuck them in a vase. And then I also combined them. There is some holly berry stems in here that I just bent the bottom and you can kind of just make different arrangements with your stems i also have some just plain pine stems if that is more your vibe there's stems with like eucalyptus leaves on there so i have a ton of different stems that i use in little vases i love these you can also stick them in a garland i think using different greenery so if i have like a cedar garland and then i stick out some eucalyptus or pine stems or sprigs um I think that looks really good just to kind of make things look fuller. If you guys don't want to pay $50 for the viral Hobby Lobby garland, I totally get it. Grab one that's cheaper and then just stick some stems that you have in it and you'd be shocked at how much that elevates the look of that garland. All right, this little sled is so cute. This came from the Target Dollar Shop and I think this is a couple years old. I paid $5 for it. I love to just fill this with ornaments. Um, because it's so neutral, I'm going to keep it and see if I can find a space for it this year. This is something that I think can fit any kind of style or vibe because it is just the black um, bottom here and the wood. And you can totally paint this too. If I wanted to paint this gold or maybe paint it a different color, that is so easy to do. It's really just plain wood. So that would be simple. And it would give new life to an old item that was just $5. Another thing I have a couple of are these tabletop just little trees. Um, not the biggest fan of the burlap here. I'm going to see if I can maybe take it off and put it in a pot. Otherwise, honestly, I'll probably still reuse these, but I'm going to see how I can repurpose these and make them new again. And then I have a, another one here. I know this one was from Target. This is just a lightly flocked tree uh tabletop tree has the green moss in there and then the galvanized um, pot here i think that you can spray paint this black and it would probably look a little bit more modern this came in a pack of three and i had gifted uh, the other two in like a little christmas basket and so it just needs some fluffing and maybe some spray paint and i will reuse this one this is a hand-me-down from my childhood before i left to college when i was in high school we had snowmen everywhere and my mom had a full snowman tree snowman everywhere when i left for college um, and when i was in college i believe she changed her theme a couple of times and so i eventually came away with much of the snowman decor because i was 
definitely much more broke and I couldn't afford anything and so this is a little snowman that she gave me and honestly I still have used this up and even last year I put this in my kitchen however this is not the vibe anymore and thank the Lord I don't need to use it anymore so thank you mom for the snowman it is getting a new home so I'm gonna put this in my donate or sell pile this little iridescent tree was from the Target dollar spot last year. It originally lit up, the bottom fell off, it never worked. And I'm just not the biggest fan of iridescent this year. So this is also getting a new home. I'm gonna either sell that at the garage sale or if it doesn't sell, donate it to Goodwill. I have a ton of these little ceramic trees from the Target dollar spot last year. This one was $3. It is a more of like a sage green. It has the ribbed look to it. I love it and these go really well with like a little decor stack or on my son's bookshelves or he has little decorator shelves so this is a good size for that i'm going to keep this and i know i'll find a spot for this one these ceramic houses with the glitter top these are from the target wonder shop i bought them i believe last year or the year before they did come back with them if you guys like these i will link them down below i can always find a place for a little village and some ceramic houses these ones don't light up on the bottom but i think you can still string fairy lights in there if you did want to make them light up you can stick some fairy lights in there some battery operated ones and kind of hide the battery pack on the back so i may do that just to kind of freshen up this one but i love these they're really not expensive at all but i do think they're neutral enough that they could go with anything so I'm going to keep these and I believe I have a couple of them. I wrapped them up in these holly berry uh, kitchen towels, which I will also keep because I like green. This item here, my mom and I picked up last year. It is absolutely one of my favorite new items from last year. This is, a, this is from a local shop here in Arizona. It's called Painted Trees and they basically have a ton of local vendors lined up in just a huge room and so it's like a farmer's market but you can go there every day and they have a ton of local vendors and artists and i love this it's like a little nativity scene so you have mary joseph baby jesus the little star on the top they have stars all over and then in the back you can put a little led candle to light it up i love this one i think it's just precious and goes with everything so i am definitely keeping this one this one was 14 dollars, and my mom got it for me last year so thank you mama we have bottle brush tree galore so we have the bigger ones we have black and gray ones black and white ones i got these from the target wonder shop last year we have like a beige one um, so all different shapes and sizes of the bottle trees when you guys are doing a little village i think it's cute to add in the bottle brush trees these are also really good i have some picture shelves in my dining area that have all of our family pictures on it and in between there's there's just not a lot of space to put decor there and so in between some of the photos i added these bottle brush trees to kind of just give it something festive um still love the bottle brush trees still love the colors and i know i can find a spot for them somewhere so i am keeping all of the bottom of trees there's more in here trust me this gold glass christmas tree it is fluted uh with an open bottom so last year i did add an led candle in there this is so pretty i love greens golds um that was i did heavy green black gold and white last year and so i'm kind of keeping the similar theme adding in some red and then um, adding in some like neutral flocked ornaments on my tree just because i think that's such a pretty look and um so keeping this one i think she's gorgeous i got this house from target this one uh has an led candle on the bottom that you can light up i don't it's probably dead at this point yeah it doesn't light up so i need to replace it and these are easily replaceable it has like little things you can just unhook almost like the back of a picture frame and just replace your led candles if you guys need more they have huge packs from amazon that i can link down below but i get them every year and just go through them throughout the year for all the different seasons especially when it comes to fall halloween christmas we use a ton of these so i'm going to keep the black it is more of a modern look people hate black for christmas I don't mind it especially if it lights up and is pretty i think it's just more of a modern look so i'm going to keep this one one thing i love to do at christmas time is just replace items that i use every day with christmas items and so 
One of the things I do is replace utensils in my utensil crock with more Christmas oriented utensils. So I have some spatulas that I got from Target. So they are just the green holly berry and then a gingerbread man. Use these for baking, we use them for making scrambled eggs. So I'll just replace my regular neutral utensils with these Christmas ones. And it's just a really cheap way to add some festivity in your Christmas and these are not expensive at all. I think they're like, they're under three bucks. I do have a lot of kid related items because my son is two and a half and he absolutely loves Christmas time. So he loves the gingerbread man and we have this that sits on his kitchen. It does have like a heavier bottom. So it sits, it stands up really well. So this goes in his kitchenette that he has in our living room because I always like to decorate that for each season for him. So this is one of the kid-friendly decor items we have. And then last year, his Aunt Devin gave him some Jingle Bell rattles and he loves these. Um, so we're gonna keep these as well because I do need kid-friendly stuff for him to play with. And I don't like to have everything super neutral for him. I think one of the fun things about having kids is having bright beautiful traditional christmas colors and it's going to be like christmas threw up in his room not necessarily in our living room so i'm keeping some of those bright really traditional things for other spaces in our home speaking of traditional i love our stockings we get these from target um super traditional christmas colors and i love the design of them i they're really nostalgic to me for some reason just love the design they do have a decent stretch there is no lining. These are Wonder Shop, and I can link these down below if they have them and have released them. So we have this one, we have a red and white one. We have this one, which is a little bit different than this one. As you guys can see, it has more red. And then we have the white one. Um, we will be using all four of them, and everybody gets to pick their favorite color. And then that's the one Santa fills every year. I do have this beautiful ceramic black Christmas tree and I will be keeping this. This is also from Target Wonder Shop. If it's on their website, I will link it for you. I have this really pretty tabletop tree. I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby several, several years ago because I had this in my old house and that was like before 2020. So I've had this for a long time. You can fluff it. It does have glitter on it. You guys can see a little bit of shine. And then this galvanized pot, which I am going to paint this as well to give it a fresh, more modern look that fits my style in my house because the galvanized steel just doesn't. But if it does for you, that's great. Nothing to do with it. Um, and then it has like the dirt on the inside. So this is pretty just to sit somewhere in a decor stack that needs some height. Here is another one of those Target Wonder Shop ceramic houses with the glitter roof. I love this because it feels like it just snowed on the roof. Um, and so I think it's really pretty. And then when you, when you pair it with this, they are a little bit different design. And I just think they go really well together when you pair it with some bottle brush trees. And so keeping those, if you guys have a Costco near you, you have to pick up some of these fairy lights. They are wired fairy lights. These are the Philips brand, and I got a pack from Costco. I got a pack of six of them for under $20 last year. They are so pretty. I think, oh, they still light up. So I did not take the batteries out, but they do require batteries, but they light up and they have so many different settings. They have eight different settings and then the great thing about these is it has a memory in it so it remembers when you turn it on every day and then eventually it just becomes automated it'll turn on and turn off at the same time every day so you don't have to remember to do that before you go to bed so I like to turn these on when it starts to get dark have it on all night and then turn it off before I go to bed and then after a couple of days it remembers and does it for you so you're not wasting batteries but I love it and it does have like a twinkle effect and so I highly recommend this brand. We have six of them and I think we used all but maybe two. So I love wrapping these in garland or a larger, tr like a tabletop tree. Um, some of the items that need fairy lights that light up. So it's a pretty good length too. So highly recommend these if you guys have a Costco or I'm sure they're probably at Walmart as well. Here is the tree topper I've been using. This is from Target. I've used this for a couple of years now. It does have the clip and it does light up so um 
It also has a little projector. So when you plug it in, it projects stars on the top. I am likely going to put this in our room. Um, I'm getting a new King of Christmas tree, which I'll show. I have three trees that I want to unbox and show you. One of which being a flocked King of Christmas tree. That one is seven feet and I know that this is not gonna fit on the top. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the top of my Christmas tree. But if you guys have the room, this one's really pretty and I think it was less than $20 at Target. We have a bell garland. I can always find a spot for that. And you guys know this year, if you've watched my Hobby Lobby decor haul, I am loving the bells. And so I will find a spot for this, absolutely. Here is my tree skirt. I do not, have never used a collar. I am going to move over to a tree collar this year, but I think this one will be so perfect for my son's tree that's gonna go in his room. He's gonna have a little pencil tree, but everything is gonna be basically traditional Christmas in there. So this is reversible. It has uh, the red and green on this side. And then I think this looks like Santa's outfit here with the red and the, the white piping on the side. So. Um, I'm going to keep this but not use it for the main tree if I wasn't getting multiple trees this year Then this would probably be donated because I've used it. I think since 2016. It's been seven years. So Just tree skirts have not been a priority of mine when purchasing new Christmas decor. I guess we do have some My husband and I went to Washington State University. This was my husband's contribution to our Christmas decor and so this will probably go in my son's room as well because we're going to do a lot of his with WC Cougar decor. We have tons of Christmas ornaments that are Cougs and so we'll probably put that in there. These are hand-me-downs from my mom and these have to be like 20 years old, maybe more. And I have several colors of them. So this is like a navy blue and I know I have like a red and a green one. And so these are going to a new home if I need extra stockings. Um, I'll run out and grab them, but I'm trying to declutter. So that one can be repurposed by someone else. So far, I've only gotten rid of three things. So I think that was a lot of my newer decor from last year and the year before. I'm hoping I have some more to get rid of here. Um, so let's break into the second tub. So many pillows this one from Target. I can't remember if this is a wonder shop I, or no. I think this is a dollar spot. There is a similar one in the wonder shop that has like a red um, envelope looking thing in the back. This is so cute. Keeping this for sure. And then I believe this one was also from the dollar spot or the wonder shop. Honestly, can't remember. Everything kind of blends together in my mind, but green is the color that I go for, especially in the living room. So we are keeping this one on the couch. And then I really can't remember where I got this one, but this one's very pretty. Oh, I remember. I got this one from Costco. Listen, if you guys are not checking for Costco holiday items, you are really missing out. Um, their Halloween ghost and pumpkin was so cute for under $20. And then this one had to be under, under 20 as well. So this one has the like velvet green back. And then this one, just a lumbar pillow, which I love. I got that one last year. This is the box for the fairy lights. If you guys are looking for this from Costco, this is the Philips LED micro lights has eight functions, color changing, warm white or multi, and it has six sets. They come like this on a tube. So definitely pick yourself up one. I'm giving my mom one and they're awesome because you can literally put them anywhere and you can use them for all the seasons. I used the white mini lights for fall as well. This gold reindeer is from the Wonder Shop last year. They came out with it again this year. Um, I think I'm going to look for a better one. Honestly, this was $5 from the Wonder Shop and it's just really lightweight. Like you could literally just toss it around. It, it doesn't break, which is nice, but the gold isn't as nice as I would like. And I have used it the last couple of years. So I'm going to be on the hunt for some Pottery Barn dupes, um, and see what better ones I can find this year. Last year, I got some of these Wonder, Wonder Shop shatter resistant ornament sets it came with 20 it was five dollars for this entire box 
they are smaller but I was looking for black ornaments um, for something I did last year so these are cool because they come with different textures if you guys can see there's that one there's different shapes this one is like a black disco ball and then it came with a glittered one and then it also came in red there's probably a black one and a red one and i just mixed them together but same thing for the red one and this entire box of 20 was five dollars i can't do glass on my trees because my son thinks these are balls he can throw so we are shadow resistant ornaments all the way in this house for probably the foreseeable future um anything that's glass i do put higher up like if we have sentimental ornaments or something like that or um, this year, those sentimental ornaments are gonna be going on a different tree. Nothing in the main tree is gonna be sentimental or of any value. Those are gonna be more like neutral, flocked, shadow resistant ornaments. So I'm gonna keep these. I think the red ones are gonna go in my son's room. My stepson also loves red, that's his favorite color. And so I was thinking of doing red in his room as well. I'm gonna get him a little tree that he can decorate. So I'll have some ornaments set aside for when he's here for Christmas as well. So keeping these. This wall decor item I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I've used this two years now. Has some little pine that you just need to fluff. It's just an ornament with the galvanized steel on top. I think this year I'm gonna do some gold rub and buff on this ornament top and this will have a brand new look. I'm getting rid of a lot of the silver so i love this i think it's beautiful modern and i'm going to keep this for the wall but i'm going to just do gold rub and buff for the top this is the wreath i have been using for the last couple of years i believe this one was from target it is just bare with two silver silver bells the white berries and just kind of some like lightly glittered greenery down here i'm getting a new wreath so i am going to be giving this one a new home haven't found a wreath yet, but that is on my list of things to do. So this one is going bye-bye. This was one of my favorite items I picked up last year from the Wonder Shop. This is so pretty. It was $15. It was a mercury glass lit tree. I don't know if you'll be able to see it light up a little bit. It does light up. I didn't even ever take this off. I need to. Um, but it's so beautiful i love it and i'm definitely keeping this i love the height of it and the price was right at 15 dollars. and this was in the wonder shop i'm not sure if they brought it back this year but i will take a look and see link it down below if they did i love these traditional christmas towels from hearth and hand last year i'm definitely keeping these i think they're so pretty and i love their flower sack towels i have several from each of the different seasons this year this one is beautiful and I believe yep it came with two so these are staying in my kitchen I totally forgot I bought this last year this is why I love doing this because I might have bought another picture this one was five dollars no clue where I got it from absolutely no clue oh no I do remember this one was from Walmart and if you guys haven't been to Walmart lately check them out because they are really stepping up their game so this little picture is from Walmart how cute is this it has little trees on it white with the green handle you could also use this as a utensil crock if you don't keep very many out on your counter you could definitely use this as a utensil crock i think that's what i did last year also like christmas morning if you want to put orange juice in there milk tea if you're having christmas dinner at your house this is such a cute find for five dollars i have had this little tabletop decor for years i got this from home goods many many years ago and i think this one is ready for a new home as well so this one is going um and i'll figure out something else to do in the center last year i didn't use this on my regular table i think i used it on the top of his play cabinet but this is finding a new home i've used it for probably since 2017 so I'm kind of over it at this point but it's very pretty and i know someone will buy it up at our garage sale the next thing that is finding a new home is this joy sign this one was from hobby lobby again many many years ago because i had this at my old house that i purchased in 2016 so this one is going to find a new home last year i just stuck it on top of our pantry but the galvanized steel just doesn't go and i don't use a lot of like 
writing in my decor or words so this one is also going to find a new home hopefully at a garage sale okay so here's where things get tough because i'm a sentimental person and my mom got me these two christmas trees they're handmade in montana and i have another decor piece that goes with it these are our college colors me and my husband crimson gray and white and like i would i wouldn't put them in my living room or kitchen anymore i used to when i decorated with those colors however maybe my stepson would like it in his room or should i sell it see this is what makes decluttering hard because they mean something to you right and then you're like but i don't use them but can i use them i don't know let me know your thoughts i got this garland last year from joann's it's just like different christmas lights it's totally all tangled up um my son immediately proceeded when i brought it home to rip them off i'm gonna try i'm going to try and fix it with just like some super glue i'm gonna untangle it i'm gonna use these in his room because how fun is this little garland for him this just screams like fun kids room decor or i might even put it in his little kitchen no probably not because that's going in the living room no this is going in his room but i need to fix it first you guys can see i even put the, i even still have the tag on it because i brought it home and he broke it immediately so story of my life i have these flocked wreaths i got from target I believe these were $5 and what I did with this, the ribbon is all cut up here. Um, I tied a ribbon to it and I hung these from my cabinets. I'm going to switch the ribbon out and possibly add a velvet ribbon and maybe a cute little bow on the bottom, but these are being repurposed this year in my decor. I love the look of wreaths in the kitchen on the cabinets. It's so cute and if you guys want to hook a command hook on the bottom or in the, on the inside of the cabinet you guys can hook a ribbon on there and it's so cute i love the look i am loving this tree this is a beautiful height it just needs fluffing does have the burlap on top but this one is so big you can get a planter uh which i'm going to do from hobby lobby i'll put this in a black or white planter and this will be good as new i did wrap fairy lights around it last year i'm going to do that again this year and then at the very tip top i'm going to put a beautiful burgundy ribbon i am trying to add burgundy i don't want to buy a ton of like burgundy decor new this year and so what i'm going to do is add touches of burgundy in ribbon because that's a really cost effective way to add different colors in without buying a bunch of new decor so burgundy ribbon is going on this as a bow here and then the planter and i think with some lights wrapped around it i did put this in my entryway last year but not sure where i'm gonna put it this year this might be i i don't know i have to think about this but i will find a place for it so i'm keeping it all right so i showed you guys the trees i did keep those out from the tub before this goes with it it says home for christmas and it is in the shape of montana because that is where uh, my parents lived at the time they gifted this for me when i moved away to school and when i moved down to arizona they were still in montana this is just a simple piece of wall decor it's just a piece of wood that was painted now that i'm thinking about it this can be repainted and it can be used for something else so you can definitely repurpose items like this to save money this can be repainted and Hobby Lobby has stickers you can put on it. You could cut stuff out from a Cricut if you have that and make another piece of wall decor. I think this is going to be a DIY. I'm not going to sell a home for Christmas, a Montana shaped state in Arizona. So it would do no one else any good. So I'm going to repaint this and figure out what I'm going to put on it maybe i'll make a video of it or i'll just show you guys it in my decorate with me videos the next thing i'm going to get rid of is this little silver tray i used to have this on the table with like some pillar candles greenery and ornaments but no longer doing silver so this can find a new home then i have just a ton of red and white ornaments i'm not sure how many ornaments i'm going to need 
for all the extra trees. Like I said, we're doing one in my son's room and then we're doing a smaller one in my stepson's room. So I will probably hang on to those. They're also sh shatter resistant. And so I'll hang on to those to see if we can use them. If not, I will likely uh, donate them to Goodwill because at that point our garage sale will be over. I hope this encourages you to go through your Christmas tops before you go shopping, figure out ways you could repurpose, reuse, and refresh your Christmas decor this year without spending a ton of money. Now listen, I know this platform, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, social media in general is full of people pushing, consuming new items. And it's really fun to pick up a few items. And if that's in your budget, then do it. But otherwise, there are ways to make what you have new again. And I just want to encourage you guys to always be smart with your money and look at what you already have before you spend more, see what you can do with it. Um, of course, buying new items is fun. And that's kind of my job here on YouTube is to show you guys what's new, what's trending, what's hot, and what I purchased. So I appreciate you guys watching and just know that if you guys are using decor from five years ago, same, same. Not everything I buy is brand new and that's totally okay. If it brings magic into your house, that is all that matters. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps support my channel and let me know what you thought of this type of video. I haven't seen many people do this video. Uh, everybody's pushing the new stuff. Shop with me, hauls, and I'm going to do that too. Trust me, I'm going to be out there in the stores picking up new things, but just know not everything I have is going to be brand new. And I love so much of the stuff that I have from years past and a lot of it is special to me. So we're keeping it, repurposing it and refreshing what we already have so that we can continue using these items in the future. I hope to see you guys again soon. I'm going to have a Christmas tree unboxing coming your way in just a few days. I hope to see you there. Bye.